Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Uh, we are from uh, Kauji Student Year right. Two, Semester Two. Alright. We are going to do our uh, assignment on public speaking. Alright. So uh, I will, uh, we will ask uh, Doctor some question, mm -hmm. and Doctor will answer throughout uh, Doctor knowledge and mm -hmm. experience. Alright. Okay. The okay. first question is. Mm -hmm. uh, can Doctor tell us a little bit about yourself and oh, background? Alright, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, Thank you very much for all of you for coming here. Alhamdulillah for interviewing me. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm not that expert you know, in this field. Okay, I'm also not very famous. <laughs> okay, you should go and you know, uh, interview somebody else who are more famous. You know. I'm, I'm not that famous. But okay, I'll, I'll be helping you. On this one, okay, a little bit about background. My name, mm -hmm. my surname, Nick Rahim bin uh, Basically, um, <clears throat> I started my uh, basically education. Uh, we we go straight to the um, secondary school. Okay, secondary right. school is basically is from the Ogamu Road, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, I, I took my STPM at uh, NSTU, Sekolah Tinggi Ogamu Sultan Wakaf Pahang, 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 and then I uh, further my study to. Egypt, mm -hmm. Al-Azhar University, mm -hmm. in year 1984, the year before you were born, right? The year before yes. you were born, 1984. Okay. And graduated in 1990 mm -hmm. from Egypt, Alhamdulillah, Al-Azhar University from uh, Sharia Faculty. Sharia. Then after that, uh, I joined UIA mm -hmm. as a SSL lecturer then, uh, in 1990. And then after that, I further my study to um, Glasgow Caledonian University, Scotland, mm -hmm. to do my PhD. And at the age of uh, 33, in year 19, uh, 1996, okay, now, year 1996, you were born already? 1996? No. Not yet born, okay. I graduated already with PhD. PhD. At, the age of, at the age of 33, 1996. Yeah. So I started my career basically at UIA, mm -hmm. and then uh, for nine years after that, I went to uh, Brunei Darussalam for six years. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, I went to uh, Mahathafi Nagari Pahang for about four years and then starting from 2014, I started my career here mm. at UCM. Oh, okay. okay, that's all. So, uh, about myself. Yes, I'm married, Alhamdulillah, uh, and with 15 kids uh -huh. and three wives. Three wives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good to know uh, a little bit about Dr. Beckhams. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, we go to the next question, right. which is, uh, the first question is, what is your opinion about public speaking? Public speaking, uh, public speaking, I think uh, is very good. It's a very good thing to, to learn, and um, because why? Because just the way how you show your your level of confidence, another uh, one thing, and at the same time you can express your opinion. You know, uh, if you are not good at public speaking, you cannot express your opinion. Basically, you have a lot of things to to say. But when it comes to a uh, certain event, for example, mm -hmm. and then with some dialogue, for example, you cannot you cannot speak out because you don't have confidence inside yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have confidence, then it's very hard for you to, to say something. Uh, you know, you cannot say voice out your concern, whatever it is. You just keep quiet and just follow whatever people say. Mm -hmm. So public speaking generally is very good, and uh, most of the uh, we see the leaders mm -hmm. are basically very, should be good yeah. in public speaking. You know that's the way how they convince people. You know, uh, also public speaking is very good. It's, uh, it's very essential. It's very important also for lecturers. Yes. If lecturers <coughs> don't know how to to, to you know uh, master the public speaking, then maybe you you become very boring when when you go to the classroom. For example, you don't have uh, motivation to learn because. The way he talk, or the way you know some lecturers talk, you know, just sitting there, you know, on the chair, and mm -hmm. then reading the text, and yeah. uh, no communication, no asking question, for example, that. So it will be will be very boring. You know, public speaking basically you can you have the ability to attract people to listen to you. That's the way how it is. So so of course, public speaking is very important. Something that you need to have. As I say like last student, you mm -hmm. need to learn how to you know to master the public speaking because. Because in the future, when you become a leader, you need to talk to people, you need to convince people, you need to express your ideas. So public speaking for me is very important. Okay, okay we'll go to the next question. All right. Which is, um, we want to know, how long have you given a speech? Mm -hmm. How long, how long? Is it uh, 
No way. After you graduate and at, at, at uh, in PhD, at right. Glasgow, 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 yeah. Nineteen sixty six. Uh, nineteen sixty six. Nineteen ninety six. After that, you. Nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety six. After that, you have been go to the UIA. Yes. yes. Uh, for nine years. Mm -hmm. So during that time, you have been giving a lot of speech. Yes, yes. How long? How long? Uh, well, basically as a stars, you mm -hmm. know, people come to stars. Then uh, basically it started with a chalama, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like a lecture, like a kulia, you know, during uh, between the prayers, for example. This is part of uh, in the routine. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was then uh, I started basically involved with the television and all that. Basically when I was at UAE. So I used to be a moderator for one uh, live program. Mm -hmm. They call, the, used to call it, they call it the program was Minda, replacing uh, Datuk Hassan Ali. Datuk Hassan Ali was a moderator, and then I was uh, being appointed as a moderator for a few series. Mm -hmm. Then, then I've, uh, I also involved with some of the uh, religious, uh, you know, program for Jakim, mm -hmm. and at the same time involved with some radio, you know, program as well. And uh, and after that, I become a quite you know extensive in, in the sense of uh, involved my involvement in in media, mm -hmm. especially television and radio. When I was in uh, Brunei, Jerusalem, oh. so I appeared a lot, you know, uh, in Brunei. So I I would say that I'm quite famous in Brunei then, mm -hmm. uh, starting from uh, uh, nineteen uh, sorry, 1999. Yes. That was basically my, my serious involvement in, in television, for example. Uh, I actually uh, started from 1999, when I was in Brunei, because I, I appeared a lot in the live program, they call it one program, because, uh, you know, at night, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, Thursday night, Thursday night they have uh, a noon, the program called a noon, which oh. is, uh, you know, it's live program for one hour, mm -hmm. so people can call in and uh, ask questions and all that. Oh. And then also in the morning we have a, a, a late early program. It's like after super prayer. Then mm -hmm. I went to the studio and do the live program. And then well, it's it started that way, you know. And then <clears throat> then I have been disappeared for so long mm -hmm. because I, I was I was when I was uh, after I left Brunei that the, the gap was quite some time, you know. Until recently when I I joined uh, Usim and then I started you know this year this year basically mm -hmm. okay. this year uh, basically. Uh, I, I started back, I mean, I don't because because through my friend, friends, you know, ask for, for a favor, you know, they have, they have some program in television, uh, let's say, Rampa Pagi, yeah, they call it uh, Sama Pagi Malaysia. Sama Pagi Malaysia, I appeared yeah. just recently, and then after that radio, and then on the 4th of this, of next month, also, inshallah, I'll be appearing in another, another one in TV Satu, you know, uh -huh. this is a one hour program. Uh, what did the program? I can't remember the program, but it's, it's in, the, in the afternoon, about 6 to 7 p.m. Oh. So on the 4th of uh, this month, and uh, next month, inshallah. So that's a little bit of my involvement with television, especially, uh, which uh, basically I, I look at it as a, as a very good platform to share our opinion, mm -hmm. to share uh, our little knowledge with with people, you know? Yeah. Um, so after uh, you have explained to us, it's quite long, eh? it's about 20 years you are yes, giving yes, in speech, yes, yes. 20 years and something, yeah, yeah. 20 years plus. But on and off, basically television is not much involvement, mm -hmm. but on and off also, but starting back, inshallah, hopefully you know, you can see more, me more on, on television mm -hmm. for the next few you know, weeks inshallah. or so. Inshallah. Uh, best answer, <coughs> to continue to the next question, which is related, mm -hmm. uh, what is the difference when a uh, doctor give a talk and speech and the different when you give a lecture in the mm. class, the different you giving speech to the public, mm. and you giving a speech in the lecture. Well, um, this is not not much different. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, except except when we are giving lectures, mm -hmm. say we have to follow the rules. I mean, the syllabus. Mm -hmm. You know, we cannot simply say anything. We have to control ourselves. You know, maybe certain issue issues can be touched on it because why is maybe sensitive, quite sensitive. Uh, and then also we have we have a guideline, you know, we have to follow the guidelines mm -hmm. and then uh, the time frame also is, is fixed, for example. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, well, uh, the, the difference is uh, in, in outside, mm -hmm. outside, okay, you can, you can talk anything, basically you can talk about politics, you can talk about you know, issues, even though it's quite sensitive, mm -hmm. but you can, you can talk freely outside. But of course, in the, when you teach students, you have to, to consider 
you know, because some students have the inclination towards certain group and the others are against them. Mm -hmm. And then you, we uh, lecturers normally need to be in the middle. We need to be neutral. We cannot be, you know, well, well sometimes we have to to show that our our support to certain mm -hmm. group, but we cannot be so like, uh, you know, you know what they call it. Uh, um, I can't remember. I mean, uh, you cannot you cannot so tough on that one. I mean. You, you can you can be flexible a little bit. Uh, yeah. You cannot cannot simply say, okay, this is my opinion. You should follow my opinion. No, no we have we have freedom of, of speech. We have freedom of choice. You know, we can just maybe I have. Let's say let's say I'm supporting of certain group. Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm supporting government, for example. Mm -hmm. So we can force the student to so to support the government all the way because some mm -hmm. some of the government what the government do not always. Right, sometimes mm -hmm. some 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 they are you know something that, that need, need to be corrected, yeah. for example. Mm -hmm. So we have to be to be you know like uh, in the middle. We cannot be we cannot be so uh, they call it tasu or something to so extreme the stream, our yeah. opinion mm -hmm. is extreme that, that, that the word that I've been looking for yeah. <laughs> extreme <laughs> yes. Okay, right. Doctor. Uh, in your opinion, doctor, uh, during giving a speech or a talk, mm -hmm. is it uh, important the introduction? Before giving the speech. Introduction mean uh, introduction about what? Introduction of something that you will uh, give a talk or a speech. Well, uh, basically, basically, um, when you give a talk, mm -hmm. you want you want people to give intention to you. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. What is the po the point of giving talk when people are talking to each other? We are playing with telephones, mm -hmm. and you you need to to attract the interest of other people. Yeah, especially when youngsters, you know, people are like you, very young, you know, mm -hmm. you, you need to have a certain, maybe, a guideline or maybe the strength, you need some strength, mm -hmm. you know, how to control the classroom. The most important thing in the public speaking, mm -hmm. basically, is how to control the audience, yeah. okay? If you talk, if you are even good, you know, speaker, mm -hmm. you know, good public speaker, but you, you don't know how to control your audience, then you cannot do, you cannot achieve anything. Because why? If you thought that they are also talking, mm -hmm. they are laughing there, they are playing around mm -hmm. with the handphones, you know, talking with, with the with the friend, and they don't give attention or, or fall asleep, mm -hmm. then then you cannot cannot. I mean, you cannot deliver the thing. Yeah. I mean, whatever you want to deliver. The I mean, idea. You, yeah, the idea. They cannot accept it. If they are playing, mm -hmm. they, they don't focus to your talk, then you, they cannot get anything. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is basically to get interest. So of course introduction, of course you gotta jump. Mm -hmm. Let's say we're talking about jinaya, mm -hmm. uh, that the killing. So we are got salam alaikum. Well, killing is oh, ah. of course is yeah. right. <laughs> then so you, you need to get close to the audience first, get them comfortable. Oh, they get, can yeah, smile, attraction. for example. They can feel you know relaxed, uh -huh. and then you know feel like they they like you. Try to attract them to make them smile. Mm -hmm make them like you, you know, like to listen to you yeah. and then come up with maybe you start with small thing like story, something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So they can they give, start to get attention for example. Or maybe you can get some, you know, joke, something like that, you know. So so that's very important. That's this falls under the introduction. Mm -hmm. Let's say if you go straight as let's say mm -hmm. if, if first time you know me, mm -hmm. let's say so I start as Assalamu alaikum wa today we are going to start our lecture straight away. Skip al nikah, no what? What do you feel? You don't even know me. Yeah. Like, well, who is this this guy? You know, he's coming out, you know, from somewhere, you know, falling from falling from the sky or something like that. You know, so introduction is very important. Important. Yes, yeah. Yes, definitely. So, um, giving speech quite difficult for maybe for. Uh, uh, we had not any experience for yes, us. Yes, yes. So, uh, for in your opinion, doctor, mm -hmm. is it preparation is very important during giving a speech? Oh, definitely. But it depends. It depends on the situation and the audience. Mm -hmm. okay? If you say like, okay, let's say some 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 just invite me, mm -hmm. you know, just like that, you know, mm -hmm. without without prayer notice. Yeah. Let's say we are, we are praying with the movie, perform a prayer after prayer, mm -hmm. just to give some talk, something like that. Without giving a notice, you know, <laughs> so that then but but the the, the audience is is just uh, you know normal uh, people, so not, not not many of them, mm -hmm. maybe maybe ten twenty people. And I used to get caught with this type of uh, situation when I was at the gathering. It's quite a big gathering, mm -hmm. you know. And then uh, people are, are, are waiting for the VIP to come, but the VIP was late. Uh -huh. And then one of the my friend approached me. Start to give some talk or something like that, you know, uh -huh. because because it's the gap is so long and people are so busy and then people keep, you know, uh, you know, cannot keep, keep quiet, you know, they keep 
you know, shouting here you know, because they are, they are not comfortable with me because waiting so long. So I, I went to, to the stage and then gave a talk. You know, something can happen. But of course, uh, when when we are not prepared, mm -hmm. basically we cannot perform as good as as we should it should be. You know. Yeah. So preparation is very important. So that's why mm -hmm. normally normally if people say, okay, start, can you give a, a, a talk about this specific topic mm -hmm. tomorrow? I say no. Oh. I always say no because. You should give me some notice, so mm -hmm. I need to be to, yeah. to prepare. Yeah. It's basically it's like this. If you give something uh, for me, for me, it's um, when you give something, mm -hmm. you you want to give the best. The best, yes. Yeah. Okay. If you go without preparation, and then you can perform the best you can. Yeah. So even though you know the subject, but you 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 don't know much. I mean, maybe on the surface you can talk about about let's say makasi sharia. Okay, I can talk about makasi sharia, but mm -hmm. in details I, I I don't know because it's not my field. Mm -hmm. But you give me the topic. Oh, jinaya for example. Okay. That, that's my fear. Uh, that's my fear. So, so you can talk about anything about the jinaya, then it's okay. But for other topics, then we need, because we are very limited. You know, mm -hmm. even we are, people call us ustaz, but we, we don't know everything. We need to learn, we need yeah. to study, we need to go and find uh, the nurse, for example, like for examples, uh, stories, or related to the case, or something like that. So, um, well, preparation is very important. For me, it's vital. It's a very important, you know, uh, aspect of public speaking. Yes. Okay. okay. Do you give a speech? Mm -hmm. There will be a lots of points in yes. the in the in your speech. Yes. Uh, what method do you use to supporting the points? Well, basically, uh, that's why the preparation comes uh, into mm -hmm. the picture. It's very important for me. Normally, I I will write down everything mm -hmm. I have in my head. Okay, I write everything in the text, mm -hmm. and then after that, I, I will you know highlight mm -hmm. or maybe make it uh, underline, mm -hmm. for example, the most important point. But I write everything. Let's oh. say it's like I'm talking. I like talking. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the, the point. Okay, I want to talk about this one. Like let's say now 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 we don't have script. Now you ask a question, I ask it. No script. But normally we have script. Script oh. meaning that uh, the, when the question, uh, you know, the people uh, give a question and come up with the answer. Okay, definition like this, for example. And then, what's the point? Mm -hmm. okay. we, we, I normally write in details what, what I want to say. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I highlight, you know, the most important point. So, because why? Because during the lecture, you cannot read. Yeah. You see, you can read. You, you have to talk, mm -hmm. starting to talk. And then, uh, in the glimpse, for example, you look at the point and then mm -hmm. you catch the point and then you explain. Because why you have the point already? You have remember, you have basic script already in your head. Mm -hmm. But you go and uh, for a glimpse like that, you think, oh, the point is one, okay, and then you talk about the point. And then you go to the next point and then you go and talk about the, 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 another point, for example. Mm -hmm. so, but that's the, the method I use. Okay, uh, um, Some people who are really good, they just put a point one. Two, three, four, like this. So they just talk up to one point, mm -hmm. and because the dalil and the nas, mm -hmm. everything in the head already. But for me, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I need to, to do preparation. Let's say even the some the verses of Quran, I already memorize it. Mm -hmm. I still put it down. So just in case sometimes, of course, if you are on television, for example, yes. it's live program. Yeah. Wow, you cannot you cannot forget. You need yeah. to remember everything. So because people m maybe a hundred or thousand people mm -hmm. are watching. So you need to be careful. So that's why what worries me. Appearing in television is more worried than than other other program. I don't care if I am invited to talk about two thousand people. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't I'm not worried so much. But talking on television, live program, wow, you need to be you know extra extra careful. No, it's very difficult. Yeah. Okay. Uh, usually, how many points that you will give in a certain speech or lecture? It depends on the time. Depends how much time? time. Oh. How much time you give me? You give me one hour, and then I need um, maybe normally I do I do more extra in uh, for example points mm -hmm. because well, I don't want to get stuck there. Oh, yeah. If let's say let's say the program is one hour, mm -hmm. I need maybe twenty points just mm -hmm. in case you know, as a reserve. Reserve. As a reserve, you if you say okay one hour enough ten points for mm -hmm. example when you talk ten points suddenly. What happened? That, uh, the, I mean, the, the points finish already. Uh -huh. You don't have any more time. And then you get stuck there. Uh -huh. It can happen. This can happen. Yeah. And then you start mumbling and then you start talking about something not related to the topics and yeah. you go far away. And then, then that shows you are not, not really yeah. prepared. Yeah. So you need to, to have extra points, you know, as a reserve points. Mm. So that if you, you don't get stuck. You know, if you 
you know, if you can finish all the point, mm. fine. If you don't cannot finish all them, all, all the point, then you say, okay, never mind. Inshallah, if you have, uh, you know, uh, other opportunities, mm. maybe, and next time we, we continue the, the, you know, the program or the talk on, on the the remaining point, for example. So uh, we it will be a lot of point yeah, yeah you will prepare before giving a yes, speech or lecture. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, uh, the next question is, mm. uh, did you give any hint when you want to move from the certain point to the next point? Well, so it's, it's normally it's like this. It's just hap happens, you know, um, by nature. By nature. Naturally, it's happen like that. It's a flow like that. You you cannot. But sometimes it happens. Uh -huh. You are talking about the the thing. You mm -hmm. know, one subject, and then mm -hmm. suddenly you switch into other uh, other thing, uh -huh. and then sometimes happen that. Oh, what was what, what we we were talking about? Uh -huh. We we forget the the, the main the point. Main point. Then the, they come. The the text is very important. The preparation uh -huh. there. And then if you go far away, mm -hmm. which is not stated in the the text, and then. When you get lost, mm -hmm. and then you go back. Oh, okay. Now I'm coming back to our. Yeah. Uh, even though people are uh, actually, you know, uh, was in the the other mode, yeah. you know, in the other uh, thing, you know, other issues. But then you say, okay, now we come back to our, you know, discussion which we we mentioned earlier on. Or this uh, about jinaya, for example, jinaya, mm -hmm. and then we start taking back, you know, bring back all the uh, the audience to the to the the, the main point mm -hmm. uh, or the focus of the the, the discussion. For example, did yeah. you repeat uh, the point before you to continue to the next point? Not really. Not, not really. really. Oh. Uh, depend on point and uh, depend on importance. Mm -hmm. uh, but normally, if we, we repeat the, uh, the 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 point, mm -hmm. then maybe we talk about the point okay at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then maybe uh, certain occasion yes we do repeat it because if we feel this is a very important point, then we repeat it so that people don't 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 forget about the, the important point that mm -hmm. we mentioned earlier. Yeah. After you're giving a speech about uh, an hour or mm -hmm. an hour and a half, mm -hmm. is it uh, how how do you make uh, your audience still have a focus on you? Is well, it how you attract your audience? The way the way I do it is like what I do in your classroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's normally uh, because but the controlling or you know get get the uh, the audience focusing on your talk is is it's not easy mm -hmm. because sometimes you know, especially when you talk to the children. Okay, you need to touch their feelings, you know, the, the emotion. You know, let's say if let's say people talk about very much about their parents, for example. Mm. If you are talking about kids, kids love their parents so much. It's not like you. <laughs> they become uh, become older and older. You don't you don't feel like you know the love is not. It's, hey, of course, you love it, your parents, but the, the love is in, in different way. Yeah. In different respect is more basically. So when uh, when you talk about children mm -hmm. and then they they love the, the the you know the parents very much and then you always talk about the parents okay you love your parents right okay what if your parents pass away well you are not here or you are not with them for example uh -huh. and then they start to come uh, and then they give the attention to you for example oh. you have your uh, dad you, your dad uh, is still alive for example if you are talking about the children mm -hmm. for example and then. Uh, among other, other things that we need to attract uh, uh, the audience basically through stories. Stories, stories yes. People love stories. Mm -hmm. Okay, they, they can sit there for one hour, two hours listening to the stories. Mm -hmm. And then another thing is very important also about joke. You know, people uh -huh. love jokes. So nowadays we see so many people, people I mean uh, public speakers who mm -hmm. are famous basically they must come with a, a package which is jokes. Mm -hmm. A lot of jokes. And then jokes basically you can simply come. I, I'm not uh, uh, quite good at in, in making jokes. No, it just happen like that. If you are happen to laugh, then I'm lucky <laughs> because I'm I'm not really good at this one because because um, because jokes sometimes it come naturally. People uh, are yeah. even the, the way they talk, people laugh already. They see you <laughs> talking and then they laugh already. Yeah, that's uh, some some advantage for some people. But for me, I need to learn. Sometimes I learn. Do I do learn? Mm -hmm. You know, some jokes from from other people. Then we can copy that one and then put it into our lecture because because otherwise it will be boring. Because you are serious about the thing and mm -hmm. then of course become very boring and then uh, people how, how people can stay for two hours in a classroom of course you have to stay there <laughs> yeah. you know, get out. but if you are talking about about general public, public yeah. then people go away if you if you can attract them they to listen boring. yeah if you're boring then then they go so how 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 can you control them 
Uh, that's very really, really important. That, that, that is uh, basically technique, skill. Mm. That you need the skill, you know. That of course there are so many skills. You need to learn about that, you know. To how how to make them stay mm -hmm. as they are, you know, from from the beginning to the end. You know? yeah. mm. So basically, you will uh, do some jokes or yes, some yes. tell some stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still uh, have atten uh, attention. Correct. And at the same time, what what we can do basically to get them giving with the the attention, basically to ask questions. Mm. You go straight away, okay, you, can you, can you please repeat again what I said, for example, and then people are start to worry, you know, oh, it's maybe next time, it's, it's, next time is my, you know, my, my turn, for uh -huh. example, you know, so maybe and then they, they, are, they are afraid, for example, you know, being asked by, by the lecturers or by the, you know, by the, one, or the, the speakers, yeah. for example, then, yeah. Uh, you need to ask questions, for example, among others, uh -huh. you know, maybe you can go closer to them, how are you, and then you, you ask, you know, a few questions to them, you know, that's the way how you make them awake, for example, if people are asleep, uh -huh. then what you do? Okay, come, 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 maybe you, you bring them to the, oh, the stage, the stage. you can give, share something, you know, to us, that's the way how, how we get, you know, uh, the, the attention mm, the from, from, from the audience, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Maybe a few last question. Right. Uh, uh, we want to know, in your opinion, what we should have in a conclusion? Mm -hmm. And you think the conclusion is a very important thing in the speech? Yeah, definitely. A conclusion is basically to wrap up everything. You mm -hmm. know, you have been talking so long. Yeah. Let's say we are talking about two hours. Of course, sometimes in the classroom, we have the time limited. We don't, we don't do the conclusion. We stop here and then we continue next week. Okay? <laughs> but as a, for, for normally the speech or the talk, normally we give, we give the conclusion. So that, uh, because so many things, we, we talk about one hour oh, yeah. or two hours, people don't really remember the whole thing. Okay, people just listen to it and then after that they just sometimes most of them because because according to uh, statistics, I mean the, the based on the uh, psychology, mm -hmm. you know, if you learn psychology, right? If you listen to any talk, mm -hmm. for example, for two hours, how much, how how many percent can you remember? Maybe 10, 20 percent can you remember mm -hmm. after the finish of the Korea, for example, mm -hmm. a lecture. If I ask you a question, maybe you can answer all of them. Maybe only twenty percent remain in your your head. Yeah. Okay, the the the, 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 rem the remaining, mm -hmm. the rest is you know we can't remember it at all. So so you need to recall back. I oh. mean, this for the past uh, what two hours we mm -hmm. we've been talking about this one. Remember? Okay, this number one, the, the most important point. One, two, three, four. Them. Somebody, even though they, they forget everything that we be, they've been listening before. And then at least they got what? They got few points mm -hmm. at the end of mm -hmm. the lecture and then remember that one, they hold to that one, then maybe they, they practice straight away to the, 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 the points, that's good for them already. No. Otherwise, if you don't do conclusion, they forget everything. They, yeah. they just remember the last word, Assalamualaikum, <laughs> they say, I'm ah, happy with us, and finish already, the program is complete, finish, you know? Yeah. Uh, okay. We got into the uh, previous question. Uh, did you give a signal before you end your speech? Uh, yeah, basically, uh, depends on the time. Look at the time is, okay, now we have uh, about five minutes. Uh, then, then, of course, that's the that show. Uh, is We are come closer to the end of the lecture. And then, of course, people, you know, the audience will understand that we have only very uh, very few minutes left. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, from, from there, we, we, we are going to, to do our conclusion. Mm -hmm. Basically, how do you end your speech? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Yes. <laughs> Basically, uh, normally, normally if we, we end, we need to, you know, to mention a few names, for example, mm -hmm. you know, thanking them, appreciate, you know, uh, you know give some, some credits, you know, some credit to people who invited mm -hmm. you, because uh, without them, you, you will not be there. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes even the, how good you are, you need somebody, you need somebody who invites you to go there. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you, you don't appreciate them, maybe next time they will not invite you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that in that sense, I mean, uh, but of course you, you, thank, you thank people that mm -hmm. actually you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, people who don't thank people, mm -hmm. uh, basically they, they don't thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to appreciate people, you know, give the credit to them. And then hopefully that because they are, they can benefit from what you said, you know, from your lecture, mm -hmm. then inshallah they are going to invite you again next time. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Okay, for the last question. Okay. Can you just return? How many last? Ah. How many last questions? <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. No can problem. You, okay. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the the problem that you have you have faced 
during give a lecture? Maybe you want stories? Well, um, yeah, very, very good story. It is, it's a real one. It happened when uh, <clears throat> when I was a moderator mm -hmm. for a program, a live program on, on television, mm -hmm. TV, TV One. Uh, the program was, uh, as I said earlier on, at the, the, at the beginning, the, the program was uh, uh, called Minda. Uh -huh. Minda means uh, the program that is uh, is a live program. I was a moderator. Then people call in. Mm. You know, they have question, you know, answer and you know all that. So one time, at one time, one, one night, you know, someone called in. You know, a woman. I can still remember. There, there was a boy, I can't remember. But the question was about something related to uh, scholarship, mm -hmm. you know. There was uh, someone from uh, Telecom Malaysia, the, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, uh, CEO of the company, of the, of the, the TM, Telecom. Telecom Malaysia. So someone asked questions, okay, that's my problem. Somehow, because, because of lack of, of, um, of uh, experience, uh -huh. I didn't know what to do, I got panicked, you know. Someone asked questions, and then, uh, and then after finishing the question, I said, okay, Dato, please, uh, uh, maybe you have something to respond, and then that took just like this. Um, I can't remember the question, he said. And then I was panicked, I don't know what to say. Yeah. And I said, oh me too, Datuk. I also <laughs> don't understand the question, I don't, I don't also remember the question. And then you see, in the UP, uh -huh. the director there, yeah. Doctor Ni, how did you, why, why did you answer like that, you know, oh my god, I was grieving in my ears here. <laughs> Uh, that was my that problem. The problem is the problem. Uh, why actually create? The, why why it happened? Because why I don't have experience. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do when people ask questions. Uh, so the tip is when people ask question, you get a piece of paper and then write down the question. Yeah. And then you don't you don't you don't forget. You know if if I did the same thing, maybe I'm still on television. <laughs> But what happened next? The yeah. next day, the director, the, the general director, uh -huh. they called me up and said, Dr. Nick, uh, what happened yesterday was very disappointed and said, and uh, I, I, we, need, we need you to take some rest. Oh. You know, for maybe a few weeks or so, you know. Yeah. But you know what? They did call me back later. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Not until recently, you know. <laughs> See what happened? Yeah. yeah. See, this, this uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all this memorable, uh, uh, you know, experience. experience for me, yeah. But uh, now, now I know how, how to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That, uh, that's the problem that if you are not prepared, then that can happen. You know? Because in television, you cannot, you cannot you know, keep silent even a even few seconds. Yeah. We need to keep talking and talking and talking. We cannot stop. We cannot stop. You know, stop talking. You need to talk, stop, keep talking and talking and talking. You, know? you see, on television, if people are, are not speaking, I know. Someone is <laughs> silent. You, I look at you. You look at me. <laughs> then you don't know what to say. No, no, no. They can help yeah, They will talk. All yeah. The time. They, they need to talk. You know, non stop like that. This, you know. Uh, even though you cannot stop. Is it because the preparation? Yeah, part of it is preparation. preparation. So preparation is very important in anything, even in uh, in the classroom. Also, mm -hmm. you need to come and read three hours. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? yeah of course. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, then I think uh, that's all the questions we want to ask you, and we got all of the points. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'll give you some, some ideas about, yeah, through my experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that much, but if you follow some of the, my, my tips, I think you can, you can improve, uh, improve yourself in public speaking, inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Okay, be on TV, inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> You can watch me, watch you yourself here. Yeah? <laughs> yes, yeah? Okay, at my channel, Dr. Nick Rahim channel. Yeah, okay, I you subscribe. You, yeah, subscribe. Yeah, I <laughs> okay, subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Jutaan terima kasih kerana menonton video ini. Jika ini yang bermanfaat, sila like, share dan subscribe. Salam khawah dari saya, Ustaz Dr. Nick Rahim bin Nick Wajis. Assalamualaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.